I have never been happy with my genetic under eye area, but with age, 54, they have become much worse. Would blepharoplasty be the best treatment? Thank you for your question. You stated in your question you've never been happy with your genetic under eye area and that it's gotten worse with age and you put uh, uh, state your age is 54 with these uh, photos of the selected area of the eyes. And you're asking, is blepharoplasty the best option for you? Well, it's a very interesting question uh, because the term blepharoplasty is a very broad term. Blepharo means eyelid and plasty, derived from the word plastikos in Greek, means to change. To give you a little background about myself, I'm a cosmetic oculofacial plastic surgeon specializing in cosmetic eyelid surgery and facial cosmetic surgery uh, for over 20 years uh, in Manhattan and Long Island. And I would say that your eyelids actually illustrate um, a lot of important principles uh, that need to be addressed when someone like yourself is considering eyelid surgery. So when we look at your eyes, you notice that the lower eyelids are a little bit low relative to the iris or the colored part of the eye. I notice there's a little bit of a shallowness to the cheekbone. I notice that the, there's puffiness under the eyes. So when we look at your eyes, and, and just to give you some perspective, the lower eyelid uh, structure is actually deceptively complex. So when you say the term lower eyelid blepharoplasty, it actually means something different to non-specialists like general plastic surgeons compared to specialists like oculofacial plastic surgeons. Of course, there are exceptions to these rules, but as a, just from a, a perspective of the focus and training and practice, so, in someone like yourself, I would have to make a few assessments. One is how, how much tone there is to the lower eyelid. This is done with something called a snap test. And that helps me get a sense of the tone of the muscle and the integrity of the tendon that holds the eyelid in place called the lateral canthal tendon. In a way, what your lower eyelid has is something we can refer to as relative lower eyelid retraction. That means the position of the lower eyelid is relatively low and the, the misadventure that happens when a plastic surgeon will do the surgery is they'll make an incision on the outside, take away some skin, and it'll actually pull the eyelid down. So just to, not with the intention of scaring you, but at least educating you about the the, the, the interactions, you know, there is a, there's a balance to the position of the lower eyelid. And we said that you had a genetic issue with it. There may have been concerns about discoloration, dark circles, but with aging, there's now issues related to support. Approximately 20% of my eyelid surgeries um, are to do revision surgeries from patients who come from all around the world for problems such as lower eyelid retraction and ectropion. Ectropion meaning that the eyelid actually turns out from skin shortage. And a lot of times the, um, the appearance of eyes after cosmetic eyelid surgery is rounded and for most people that's an undesirable look. So I would say that the term blepharoplasty certainly applies to you in addressing puffiness and, and overall aesthetics of the lower eyelid. The type of blepharoplasty, that has to be determined by a proper physical examination. So given the, the appearance that you have and the, the anatomy, I should say, that, of your lower eyelids, I would suggest you meet with qualified experienced oculofacial plastic surgeons. Um, and it's a small group, and, and it may be that this may be the first time you've heard of this specialty because we're a small group and only anywhere from 10 to 15 doctors per year in the whole country get trained in this specialty. 
So I've been at this for 20 years, and, and, I, and so even though um, it's a very important specialty, it's a small number, and most people don't think of oculofacial plastic surgeons when they think of cosmetic eyelid surgery. So it's important, in, in from my perspective, that you meet with someone with that background and learn about the options, learn about the risks and benefits, and what is the ideal um, rejuvenation procedure for, for yourself. You know, for someone like yourself, we've done a combination approach of something called lateral tarsal strip, where we're reinforcing the the outer corner of the eye so that it can support the lower eyelid. Sometimes we'll put a, a graft underneath to give the eye vertical height. We'll do something for the skin color with laser, with uh, platelet-rich plasma, and of course address the lower eyelid puffiness from a transconjunctival approach from the inside of the eyelid. Now that's just a initial impression without doing a physical examination. So certainly there was a laundry list of, uh, of sub-procedures that go under this global uh, um, label of uh, lower eyelid blepharoplasty. So again, it's, it's really understanding what your situation is and how to address it in the most optimal way. And once you find, if I, you're comfortable with the doctor you meet with, proceed, and I think you'll be very happy with your results. So I hope that was helpful. I wish you the best of luck, and thank you for your question.